Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4743 in Candy Crush Saga. And if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So here we have a legendary level where we have 16 moves to collect six baby Gumi dragons. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're all on the board, but look what we have to get through. First of all, we've got a candy curl with licorice. Then we've got these sugar chests. Oh, there's the key, so I need to open up this to get keys going. More curls, toffee, licorice locks, thicker chests, more toffee, more licorice locks, and then look at this, chocolate under here. Oh, chocolate under here too. Now I've got a cake bomb, but I don't know how to reach that cake bomb. I need to make moves against this. I need to open this up, right? I need to get those keys going. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Oh my goodness, I like this. And then we're going to try to open up as much as we can here. I got some locks, so now I should pay, play very carefully and figure out what my next move is. I kind of think the next move needs to be either collecting keys or working on this. I do have some stripe dispensers. I just don't have really any good moves. Let's do this and try to bring a stripe low. I've got a stripe low, but I've got five colors on this board. And so this is not going great for me. Let's try to get another something with the key. Oh, here we go. Look at this. That key is going to turn into a stripe. And there we go. We get the next key. And now we've got one last key to open up. But when we open up that key, the problem then becomes we've got chocolate coming out. Do you know what I just noticed? I think I'm doing really well and I've gotten some really special things here. And I only have five moves left. And still so much to take care of. I have to go for the cake. I think that's it. And a wrapped would be nice, but I think the stripe is what we need. <gasps> I can't use that stripe. Hold on. I can use the stripe. Let's do this. Oh, I want more stripes more down here. And then I want that key before this all goes. Oh my goodness. So we can see how difficult this is. I can't do anything without getting rid of this. These guys are stuck. But also I've got all of these keys here. And I don't have any way to take that out. Even if I do this and I get that key collected, I'm kind of stuck. I'm going to go for cascading. I'm going to try to jar the... Yeah, it didn't work. This is rough. So rough, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up coming back with boosters. But I'm going to give it a college try before I... Uh, do that because sometimes I can get super lucky and everything falls into place if I'm just persistent. And now that I know I need to target this, I've got a little more information than I had previously. Open, open up enough so that you can get, even if there are the um, sugar chests, they don't have frost or um, licorice in them. So I think they have toffee in them. So you can slide through and get to this even when there's stuff here, as long as that licorice is gone. So that's what I'm going to work on and see what happens. I'm going to pause, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off, but then once I solve this, I'll come back through and narrate everything. I called it. I'm going to bring in boosters. I've gone through my 15 minutes of unlimited lives and almost all of my other lives. And it may take me a while, even with boosters, to get this done. I've got three lives left, so let's go for it. And I'll explain the problems with this board and why I think it might be reasonable to suggest that you booster up. Booster up, baby. I, I try not to do this in deference to folks who don't have boosters, but it may be worthwhile for you to do other things and collect boosters and then come back to this level if you're stuck. So I think I'm going to go with just this coconut wheel first, but I'll probably end up bringing these in too, because if I can get a combo in the beginning, that might help. This, the nice thing about this coconut wheel though, is unlike these guys, instead of just showing up once, it shows up once and then it can show up again if I can clear out enough space. 
So here I go, I've got this. First, I'm going to hit this. I'm going to try to clear out as much of this as possible before I use this, but not too much. I'm not going to wait too long because, yeah, now I can get one more. No, I'm going to go ahead and go for this because if I don't use these when I have the opportunity, I'm not going to get any more coming in. So again, I want to take out that licorice where I can, remove the chocolate where I can, and try to make as much chaos on the board so more of those coconut wheels show up. Now I've got this where I want it positioned. And so it's going to start taking out that uh, cake bomb. Unfortunately, things are not going well here. There. There, we got a couple more stripes. And even if we get all of the stripes uh, that we need to take this out, then we still have problems with uh, chocolate here if we haven't collected the keys, or even more likely, this stuff here. Uh, we've got so much toffee there, and I can't get those stripes down where I need them to go, can I? Yikes. So even with the coconut wheel, the problem is the coconut wheel didn't show up until the very end when I can't use it. It would have been great there if it had shown up about two turns earlier with those stripes. So now what I'm going to do is bring in all of these because I'm hoping to get some good combo here. No combo yet, but I've got a wrapped along here. I'm going to make full use of that. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm going to risk it terribly by setting this off and clearing this out. This is pretty good except that I still have this licorice here and I need to clear that out. So there we go. The licorice cleared out and now where did the... I didn't even see where the coconut wheel went. Did it just take off that way and then leave? That was kind of awful. So now I need to focus on getting stripes down here, right? We know that. It's hard to do. I'm also trying to collect keys as I go. I don't have a lot of orange on the board. Let's remove the orange and concentrate the red. I can make a wrapped pretty good, but I need to get stripes. I need those stripes along that border there. So let's do that. Now I'll do this because maybe I can get this set up with a stripe. And now look. Oh shoot, I didn't get to use that the way I wanted. Totally wrong. But here we go. This is going to help. It's going to help take this out. So we're going to get a layer of everything gone, right? Including that chocolate there. Because we've got everything opened now. It's going to take out a layer of each of these guys and I still have some turns left to kind of play around with things. Oh no, look at that. That's gone. It should be all collected. Okay, so that's how I beat it, using boosters. And I really think that it is important to use the boosters when we need them. And that's why I have so many boosters, because I don't always need them. Sometimes I just need persistence. This one, you know, if I played another thousand times, or just another two times, doesn't, you know, the luck could show up at any point. But I could keep playing and keep playing and keep playing, and eventually I would be able to get it without using boosters. But I have other things to do with my day. I don't have any other lives. And I wanted to show you what I think is the most efficient way to take care of this. Sorry to the folks who don't have boosters. Start playing some of the games, some of the events that we have, earn boosters, and then don't use them until you can group them all together and just blast everything on one level to get past it. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.